Hello friends in this video tutorial, we are going to learn, how to join multiple table in Laravel 8, by using eloquent model, for fetching data from multiple table in MySQL database. That means, here we will fetch data from multiple table, using eloquent join, and display on web page, under this Laravel 8 framework application. In this tutorial, we will describe you step by step, how to fetch data from multiple by join multiple, using Laravel eloquent model, here we have used Laravel eloquent join, because it has give use better query performance than simple Laravel join query. Now let's start discussing this topic, so here we have testing database, in which we have three table like country state and city, in all table we have already, inserted some data in city table city id primary key and state id is foreign key for join table same way in state table state id is primary key and country id is foreign key so we will join this three table using laravel eloquent model and display all country name state name and city name data from this three table on web page in html table format now first we want to download latest version of Laravel framework, so we have go to command prompt, and here we have go into directory in which, we want to download Laravel 8 framework. After this, here we have run this command, this command will download latest version of Laravel framework. It will take some time for download because in latest version of Laravel framework, it has download more than 100 class, with download framework. Now here we can see that, Laravel framework has been successfully downloaded, now we have go to text editor, and under that we have opened this downloaded Laravel framework. So this is our Laravel application folder. So here first we want to make database connection. So here we have opened this .environment file. And under this file, we have defined MySQL database configuration like host name set to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root, and password set with blank value, so after define this details, it will make database connection. Next we want to make model class, for database operation, so we have go to command prompt, and here we have run this command, this command will make country model, under models directory. So now we have go application folder, and under this we have go to models directory, and here we have open country.php model class file. Under this class, first we want to define table name, so here we have write protected, with dollar table variable is equal to country, so here we have defined country table name. After this, we want to define table column name, so here we have write protected with dollar fillable variable is equal to array, and under this array, we have write country name. So here our country model class is ready. Next we want to make one controller. So we have go to command prompt and write this command. So after run this command, it will make join table controller under controllers folder. So again, we have go to application folder, and under this, we have open HTTP folder, and then after we have go into controllers folder, and here we can see join table controller class file, so we have opened this file. Under this file, first we want to import country model class file under this class, so here we have write use statement with, application folder name, slash models folder name, slash country model class, so this way, we can define model class, under this controller class. After this under this class, 
we have make index method. This is root method of this controller class. Under this method, we have write dollar data variable is equal to country class with join method for argument. So in first argument, we have write state table name. In second argument, we have write state dot country ID. In third argument, we have write equal sign. And in last argument, we have write country dot country ID. So this code will join country table with state table. After this, we want to join city table also. So here we have add join method with for argument. So here in first argument, we have write city table. In second argument, we have write city dot state ID. In third argument, we have write equal sign. And in last argument, we have write state dot state ID. So this code will make join query for join city table with state table. Next we want to define which table column data we want to fetch from this three table. So here we have write get method. And under this method, we have write array. And under this, we have write country dot country name table column, state table dot state name table column, and city table dot city name table column. So this three column data will be fetch with this select query. So here our join three table code is ready and this code will produce select query with join three table using Laravel eloquent model for fetch data from multiple table in single query. Now here we have write return statement with view method with two argument in first argument we have write join table and in second argument we have write compact method. And under this we have write data, so view page, we can fetch data from this data variable. Now we have go to join table.blade.php file, and here we have first create table, with three table column like country, state and city. For fill data under this table, so for this here we have write at the rate for each expression, and under condition we have write dollar data as dollar row variable, by using this loop it will fetch data from dollar data variable. First we want to close this loop, so for this, here we have write at the rate end for each loop. Between this loop, we have first write open and close table row with three blank table data tag. In first table column, we want to print country name, so here we have write expression, and between this we have write dollar row variable with country name table column. In second column, we want to print state name, so here we have write expression, and between this we have write dollar row variable with state name table column. In third column, we want to print city name, so here we have write Laravel expression, and between this we have write dollar row variable with city name, it will fill this table data get from multiple table, using Laravel eloquent model. Lastly, we want to make route for index method of join table controller, so we have go to routes folder, and under this, we have open web.php file. Under this file, 
we want to define join table controller at header of this file. So here we have write use statement with application folder name slash HTTP folder name slash controllers folder slash join table controller. After this for set root, here we have write route class with get method with two argument. In first argument, we have write join table and in second argument, we have write array and under this, we have write join table controller class and in second index, we have write index. So when in browser, we have hit laravel application base url slash join table then it will execute index method of this join table controller. Now for check output in browser, we have to start Laravel application. So in command prompt, we have run php artisan serve command. So this command will start Laravel application server and provide use base URL of our Laravel application. Friends, here we can see in URL, we have write base URL slash join table, then it has load web page in browser. Here we can see data country name, state name and city name data has been load from country table, state table and city table. Here we have fetch data from three table in single query by using Laravel eloquent join model. Here we have use eloquent model because to create better relationship and get the result in view with so much simple syntax then we need eloquent model in join multiple table so this way we can join multiple table in laravel 8 framework by using eloquent model and display multiple table data on web page in html format lastly if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends. Or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly do not forget to subscribe our channel for future videos.